Hello, my name's Andy from Cyrex and today I'm going to give you a quick run through the Electrostim Sensorvox model EM140 Erotic Nerve Stimulator. Uh, I'll just give you a quick look around the unit before we switch it on. Um, the control panel consists of uh, four tactile uh, type switches. Um, three digital encoders which are continuous rotation with a positive feel um, of 24 steps per revolution um, and also it has uh, seven segment display windows uh, so it's quite an easy unit to to kind of maintain and keep clean um, two sockets on the side for the audio input features there's um, a list on the rear of the unit um, of the programs which are built in. Um, you will soon learn them as you go through the programs because the lights um, on the front do give you a very good indication of what's actually happening at the outputs. Um, it also tells you what the audio features are and also it identifies what the sockets are for on the side there which is the mic in and the line in. Um, there's a power, external power input on the other side, so the unit can be run from batteries or from external power, um, just a low voltage input. And on the top of the unit are the sockets that correlate to the two, uh, the two channel outputs. So we'll just switch the unit on. Um, the intensity levels always start at level zero. It's a built-in safety feature, so regardless of where the uh, the dials were left on the last use, it will always start at zero. And also the default program is P1. The reason the lights have gone out is because um, the unit has a battery conservation um, feature, uh, such that uh, when you are on battery, um, 15 seconds after the last adjustment, the displays will extinguish just to save some battery power. You can override that feature um, by simply, I'll switch the unit off and hold the boost down while you switch it on. And that feature is now overridden, it just means the battery won't last quite as long. To adjust the outputs, um, very simple, just turn the dial. It's not a twitchy little knob at all like you do get on some units which are just three quarter turn which will be literally there to there. This unit has got digital encoders which give you a very positive feel to what's happening and also you get four full rotations which take you all the way up to 99 although I very much doubt you'll get anywhere near that level but it's uh, it's there if you do want to, to have more power. Generally less than 20 would be typical. Uh, obviously the other channel um, works in exactly the same way. So that's how you adjust the outputs, very simple. P1 is the default program which is a constant uh, stimulation output just so you can get the feel for it and on every program the modifier will adjust what is happening to the outputs in some way depending on what it's actually doing at the time. On this particular program it's just adjusting the frequency on both channels simultaneously. When you get to the end of the adjustment range the modifier gain is an encoder rather than a potentiometer with limited um, rotation. When it gets to the end of the uh, dynamic range the displays will flicker just to let you know that uh, there is no more change occurring. Same in the opposite direction. So if we go through the programs quickly, um, they all do something uh, slightly different. Uh, for instance, program 3 sweeps between the two outputs. Incidentally, you can see that uh, because we've changed program, the intensity levels have gone back to zero. This is a safety feature. Because all programs do things differently to the output, using different stimulation parameters, um, it's always uh, wise to start at um, an intensity level zero, so that you can start, uh, start from scratch every time. 
The modify on this program changes the rate that it sweeps between the two outputs. This is very useful uh, program so you can fill the stimulation in two different uh, areas, building up in one area as it fades away in the other area, um, and vice versa. And again, you can make it do it either very slowly or very quickly. There is also a boost button. If you press the boost button, both outputs will increase simultaneously by 25% just to get a quick hit. When you let go of the button, they'll just go back to where you left them. Um, so you can go through the programs um, and they will also say do something slightly different. This one is actually just alternating between the two outputs. And again, you can change the rate that it does it. Um, program 6. This is actually uh, stepping the pulse width um, of each of the outputs in a, a pattern. Uh, program 7. This one is uh, firing a series of pulses to each channel um, and depending on where you've got the modifier set it, it will change how many pulses are fired to each channel before it actually changes. Program 8 is quite an interesting one. This is an auto climb program. The idea is you set the, uh, the maximum intensity level so you set it to a good uh, stimulation level for yourself. You can use channel 2 um, just as a normal uh, output channel. And as you can see, channel 1 has reduced itself to 0. And now it's going to automatically climb up to where you left it. So you can change the rate that it climbs by again adjusting the modifier. If you steadily increase this, the rate that it climbs will steadily increase. Um, you can have it very slow or you can increase it so it's a, a very, very fast climb. At any time you want to increase that uh, intensity level, you can just adjust it and automatically it will override what it's doing. It will then stay there for two seconds, clear for two seconds, and start the climb again. It's obviously climbing very quickly at the moment. You can just slow that down a little bit. So you get the idea of that one. Program 9 is uh, an escalating program. Um, so the uh, it, it very steadily builds up in energy, um, and the, the pulses feel deeper and stronger as it builds up. And if you have it on a slow setting, it can take uh, several minutes to build up to the, uh, to the climax. So that's, uh, that's essentially a quick run through of how you use it. It's very intuitive to use. Just simply select the program, then select the intensity levels to suit. And there you're pretty much set.